there's one thing I know, it's that my hubby doesn't always like going to the doctor. He tells me he doesn't like the idea of being sick, that it makes him feel a little bit vulnerable and a little bit unmanly. And eventually when he does go, he thinks it's a big fuss over nothing. He says he doesn't like bothering the doctor by putting her out. Many people are worried they'll be told to change their diet or to start taking pills, and some people find certain tests just too embarrassing. Whatever the reason, people like my husband simply don't like going to the doctor. My name is Russell Woolley. I'm 76 years old, and I'm a teacher. Through most of my life, I only went to the doctors if I really needed to. I kept pretty healthy, so I didn't ever really see the need to go to the doctor. Teaching, which I'm involved in, is a fairly stressful job, and I noted that I had slightly elevated blood pressure, and I thought that was normal. So um, I didn't like taking drugs, so I didn't take them until about the year before I retired. The problem is there are things happening in our body that we just can't detect. For men and women, a big concern is high blood pressure, and there are many people walking around with it, not actually knowing it's a problem. This, coupled with stress, can be quite dangerous. I had the opportunity to go in and have my heart uh, photographed on a new MRI machine, and I thought that was just a bit of fun. I was interested in the machine. And what the results that came out showed that I had a greater than 90% blockage in one part of my heart and a 40 and a 50 in the other. And the recommendation was that I get immediately to see a cardiologist before I'd need bypass or stents. A visit to the GP may mean nothing more than having a checkup, making sure everything is on track, or making a small adjustment to your lifestyle. It's unlikely your GP will start you on pills or stop you from eating your favourite foods. Oftentimes, they'll just advise you to make small changes to what you're already doing right, like eating more vegetables or getting more rest. It was a real shock to me. I. I uh, had been part of a program, a lifestyle program, that um, helped prevent heart disease, and I adopted that, CHIP as it's known. I eliminated the things from my lifestyle that um, had been causing me the problem, which was mainly dairy. Then uh, I went to the cardiologist and he asked me about my lifestyle, and when I told him, he said he would, if I would stick to that, he would support me in that. Mm. And I didn't have to have the stents or bypass. From my experience, guys, go to the doctor. You don't miss anything, you don't lose anything by going, and you could really find something that will benefit you and save your life. It's important to remember that our GPs and nurses are trained professionals. They understand when some subjects are difficult to discuss, like mental or emotional health. That's why it's really important that you feel comfortable with your general practice team, so that you can go and talk to them when you need to. That's my hubby now. His ears must be burning. So men, what are you waiting for? Hello? Yep. No, all good.